Floretti is actually one of the most photogenic cities I've ever been. And in this video, I had so much fun shooting with Ilenia around the city. You're gonna see that is not only about just the scenery, but it's also about the composition, how you manage the lighting and how you manage loads of different bits in photography. Also in this video, I'm gonna pinpoint the exact location so that you'll be able to shoot in these positions whenever you're gonna visit Florence in the future. All the photos that you see, I'm gonna edit it with my portrait preset pack and I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description in case you wanna check it out. Enjoy. All right, so we are right here in Florence. There, there is Ponte Vecchio, it's very famous and we're also gonna do it there afterwards. But then I found this spot where actually you can see the reflection of this side of the Arno, which is the river that is from here. And it's actually amazing. So I'm gonna try just with Ilenia. Uh, the sun is coming from this side. So we need to stay, let's say her face has to stay this direction. And then we're gonna try to take this one as the background. So right now I'm at one on 8,000, then F1.2. ISO 100 and I'm just using a 50 millimeter f1.2 this is the Sony GM and looks great okay just move on the other side yeah that's great lovely All right now I ask Elenia to actually sit here because there is this difference between this one that is higher and this one is lower so you can play around with the elbow basically and then make the photo a little bit more dynamic Either, even there we have Ponte Vecchio which is great and then here we have Piazza della Signoria so it's amazing obviously because we are f1.2 now and we're gonna stay f1.2 then we're not gonna see much of those but I think it's gonna look great because we'll be able to play around a bit with the, with the elbow yeah there you go uh, once again the move towards me the open uh, left side of the jacket there you go, yeah, so we can see a little bit of the white, it's a bit of a contrast. Then I'm gonna also try to get uh, the full body. Uh, this brick looks great, but then we're actually gonna try to switch to get rid of that little white brick that is there. Now we're gonna wait the granddaddy to move, there you go, and that's it. Yeah, that looks great. Can you lift your right leg up? Right leg, right leg only, yeah. Then look back. Yeah, there you go, nice. This looks great. I'm just gonna try also to move on the center of the road without being killed. Yeah, that's it. And then just gonna stay like this. Very nice. Just gonna try to cut the bricks. Nice, that's lovely. Love. Oh, I love this shot, I love this shot. Nice. All right, so now we came into this spot. We are at Palazzo Tempi. So it's really cold because there are all these stairs and then there is this little view where it's very bright right now. So that might be a problem, but then it's very cool also because there's gonna be a lot of green and there is that kind of pattern that you see on the top there. So let's see what we can get. Okay, stop. Stop there. Okay, I need to change the settings quite a bit. Just gonna say F1.2 again. Actually, let's come in the middle. Yeah, we're gonna go on 1,600. There you go, and yeah, nice. I'm gonna take it full and yeah. Okay, can you try to sit there and see what we can get? Yeah, with the coat, yeah. That's nice. Also, what we're trying to do right now is just to have a very plain background because before it was a little bit back, uh, what a little bit messy, but that's not too bad. So with a 50 mil that is, um, let's say a little bit more compressed. Now she stands out quite a lot because the background is very dark already on its own. So the face is bright and that's why the photo doesn't look that bad. Plus it's plain. We're gonna get a symmetry as well. Okay, play around with the hand. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Look at this way. Look at my hand. Yeah, nice. Bit chin down not too much less yeah that's it nice love this very close-up portraits look look the sun yeah no sorry committee like as you were before but then eyes on this way just eyes yeah that's it very nice that's it. i'm just gonna go backward take her full body and yeah, there you go okay done so now i'm asking Yelenia to just sit on the stairs again but then have both legs a bit open and then play around with the elbow now once again we don't use the symmetry on her body but we use the symmetry in the background so we're going to try to have um, a symmetrical background and then she's actually creating some movement by having one leg straight and one leg uh band 
I'm gonna go backwards so I can get her full body. This looks great, nice. So now why I asked her to move is that because here there were no stairs anymore, so it looked a bit off, but in this way we're gonna have fully, fully symmetrical background and um, it's really, really great. Okay. If you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to subscribe and leave it a thumbs up. It's free, but it helps a lot. Okay, so now we are here in this beautiful palace called Palazzo Pitti. It's one of the, let's say, touristy spot. Uh, everyone goes here also because there is a garden behind and then what I want to do is that I want to try to get uh, a few walking shots of her just here with this pavement because I think it looks pretty good she looks classy with this dress and then uh, to do this I'm just gonna try to have the, the drive mode into high speed shooting so that I can just keep clicking the shutter button and that's it all right ready three two one and go more your right more your right on your right on your right yeah that's it, keep going. I hate having people in the photos and I wanna avoid wasting too much time in Photoshop. So uh, the goal is try to have maybe people behind her if we can. Three, two, one, and go. Stop. All right, so now what I'm trying to do is that I'm gonna try to stay very low so we get the pavement um, and then we try to avoid as many people as possible. Ready, three, two, one, and action. nice okay so now we came to this spot because i saw that the sun is actually coming from this way but it's not hitting directly and as you can see if we can notice this part is a little bit brighter than this part plus here because it's under it's like basically covered then this area will be darker and therefore i expect her to stand out a little bit more than normal okay so i'm gonna try some shots here yeah just uh, uh basically lie down on that yeah yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna go back to normal drive shooting. And yeah, that's it. Nice. Come a little bit more outside, out. As you can see, there are a lot of things that actually go towards making a great photo. And I teach all of them in my six day free portrait photography crash course that you can sign up to using the link in the description. That's it. Good, good, good. I like it. Keep, keep holding the, keep holding it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. Look at the sun, not the direction. Yeah, nice. Play around with your hat, with the hat. Yeah, the other hand actually, otherwise covering. Nice, that's it. I'm gonna move a little bit backwards so I can have her, um, let's say, half body. I'm gonna see different angles, see which one looks best. So I don't like actually that yellow, which is a problem. It stands out the subject because it's darker, but the yellow is not great. So I'm just gonna keep. Uh, having the same angles as before here in the center we have this this side that is a little bit brighter and this side is a little bit darker so it creates some good contrast and that's it let's try the other side it yeah, is not bad if she stays in the profile so keep looking in the front then it's kind of okay maybe three quarters this way this way this way this way yeah that's it nice oh I like that there is a good reflection anyway so the photos are not bad chin down yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Yeah, this is great. There's a very, very good lighting in this direction. Even though the sun is coming from the other side, it's probably because it's reflecting on some sort of surface. That's it. Nice. Okay, so now we came here at uh, Bargello. It's Palazzo Davanzati Skull. And uh, I want to try to take some photos here because I love the texture of this huge door uh, just behind. And I think it's gonna look great also with the colors of the outfit. So we're just gonna try and see if we can get anything good. Yeah, I like it, I like it a lot. I'm gonna try also to stay a little bit backwards so we can take the full figure. Now it's really cool also because we can play a bit with this little pole right here. And yeah, that's nice. Try to come in the front. Oh yeah, like that, like that. Nice. Try to come in the front and lie, lie a bit with your back. Yeah, open, open the right side of the jacket so that we can see the white, that's nice. Cool, uh, left hand on your cap. Left hand on your cap. Left hand. <laughs> chin down, yeah, chin down. Nice, that's really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this photo. Don't forget to sign up for the free portrait photography crush course using the link in the description. And if you want to know more about portrait photography, you should definitely check out this video where I talk about 10 tips to increase the quality of your portraits. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Ciao.